Today, we install the TH3D 50 watt heater cartridge in our Creality Ender 5. My name is Alex, and this is Modified 3D. This 50 watt heater cartridge is going to allow our hot end to reach its desired temperature a lot quicker than the stock hot end normally would. The difference in the extra 20 watts that we get may not seem like much, but our heat up time is going to be drastically reduced. These heater cartridges are super easy to install. I'm going to be using these MicroFit Molex connectors, however, they would normally come with enough wire to run it back to your control board if you would like. Um, as you can see, I've cut that down a little bit just so that we can crimp on our connectors. This connectors are gonna add a little bit of modularity to the system where I can swap out this heater cartridge in the future if I ever need to for replacement or possibly changing out to a different design. The TH3D heater cartridge will fit all your standard hot ends, whether it be your stock Creality, uh, an E3D V6, a Slice Mosquito, anything you're looking to run, this one will fit. So with that being said, let's get into the install. So the things we're gonna need are obviously our 50 watt heater cartridge from TH3D Studio. We got the MicroFit Molex connectors, both the male and female side. And we're gonna also need one of these dedicated crimpers. Links for all this stuff will be down in the description. First thing I'm gonna do is crimp a set of pins onto the heater cartridge, and we will get ready to put that into the hot end. So now that we got our two pins in, we can just slide them into the connector and the heater cartridge will be ready to get installed. And do a little tug test, we're good to go. So what we'll do is remove the two bolts holding in our fan shroud and that'll give us access to the heater cartridge. Now that we have access to our hot end, we can pull off our silicone sock. And this is all stuck on there because it's never been pulled off. And we can loosen the bolt on the bottom of the hot end that's holding on the heater core. Once we have that grub screw removed, we can turn our printer on and preheat our hot end to 200 to 210 degrees Celsius, and that'll help us just pull our heater core right on out. Now that it's up to temp, we can just take something like an Allen key and gently push it on the heater core until it comes out. Now that this is out, what we can do is go to temperature and hit cool down. And we can turn our printer off. Now this will still be hot for a bit, so let's let it cool down before we do anything. Once it's cool, we can go ahead and cut out the amount of wire that we're gonna be replacing. So just measure this out and you know, snip it at the top where that connector's at. Make sure your printer is unplugged from the wall. And what we can do is strip our two heater wires and crimp in our two pins for the male side.
All right, so we got our connector on for this end. Next thing I can do is just prep our heater cartridge to go in by starting the thread on the grub screw, which holds it in on the bottom. All right, now that we got that threaded in, we're ready to insert our heater. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this slice boron nitride paste and just apply a tiny little bit of it to a cube. And then what I'll do is just put that on the heater. So we just put a little dab on a Q-tip and put that all around the heater. What this will do is just help the thermal conductivity. It will also help it stay in place a little bit. Uh, as you can see, there's probably a little bit much on there. So I'm gonna try and take some off. You don't need a ton, just, just enough to cover it. And we can insert that in place. Make sure it gets all the way in. And we'll just clean off that little bit of thermal paste. And we'll tighten in the grub screw to seal that in place. What we could do next is route our fan wires back where it was before. And we can make sure that everything's routed the right direction. So the last thing to do is just test it. We'll go ahead and turn the printer on. And now what we can do is we can just go down to temperature, preheat PLA, and preheat PLA end. We wanna obviously make sure first and foremost that we have no smoke coming from it, which we don't. And we wanna make sure that we're also having our temperature increase. Um, we want to make sure it's not going past our set temperature. That would indicate something's going on with the thermistor or something like that. First thing I notice is it's heating up really fast. We're already up to 123 and 133, 135. So it climbs a lot faster than the stock hot end. So the 50 watt heater heats up super quick. Everything installed very easily. The Molex connector is going to give us some modularity in the future if we ever want to swap this out for something else. However, I don't anticipate the need to. I run a 50 watt heater on this Ender 3 Pro and I've never had an issue with it, which is exactly why I decided to put it in this Ender 5. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments. And if you want to see more videos on how to modify your 3D printer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My name is Alex and this is Modified 3D. Thank you for watching, have a good one.